everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. Happy Monday. I hope you all have your your snack, your drink. Not you. Not y'all. Y'all playing with a toy. Go play with your toy. You don't need any of my snack. You don't even need to come say hello. I promise. You do not need to say hello. You do not need to try and lick my bowl. Neither of you need to be over here. Thank you very much. No, oh, thank you. Thank you for the kisses. I appreciate it. You're so sweet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <sighs> I'm in the home stretch, guys. I only have four more days of work until summer break. <sighs> And then basically nothing changes. I still have to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning because of this girl. I plan to do some private sessions this summer, uh, make some extra money. It, it won't be a ton of work, but it will still require me to put real clothes on and make sure I have my appearance somewhat reasonable going out in public. Um, what else is, why are you humping that blanket? You're nasty. You're lucky chat can't see it or else I'd be demonetized. I'm pretty sure it's against TOS to hump blankets on stream. Pretty sure it's against TOS to hump anything on stream, but blankets probably, definitely. <laughs> Hi, potion sweet girl. No ma'am, I don't need you in my lap. You are way too big. You do not fit in my lap anymore. You don't fit in my lap anymore. Hi Conan. I still don't know why it's not why it's not working. Cause I I looked at it and I tested it last night. Hmm. I don't know, here you go. still works. The sound effect is working just fine. So I don't understand. I don't know. Bonjour. How we oui, we? Oui. Um All right, Conan. I I'm gonna give you. Hold on. Is it this one? Yes, okay. All right, Conan, you have. All right, Conan, you have your own sound effect now. You can only use it once per stream. Uh -huh. At Sean, check the Discord. What's going on in Discord? What's up, Boston? <laughs> You're thankful that the most iconic love song makes you think of me? I know. Every time I hear that song, I think of you. <laughs> I, I've given you your own sound effect. I'm going to do the same thing for every, every person. All right. What? Why would that exist? That command shouldn't exist. What? How? What? Huh? Apparently 
we already have that sound command for her. Okay, never mind. Okay. Um, then I need to also add Rushla. when they come into chat, their sound alert doesn't go off, it'll be fixed. It'll, it'll happen. Sean, would you like a sound alert? Would you like a specific sound alert that whenever you come into chat, it goes off and notifies people? And if so, what would you like? for the very first time you comment for whatever reason it's not working today uh, or last stream but it worked before uh, but yeah let me know if there's a specific kind of sound you're thinking of and I can I'm, I'm on the my instance web page right now so I can look up sound alerts for you so many times to choose from think of something that associates chat with you which I would think would be something bastion related but you don't do as much overwatch anymore so I don't know if we could do something with cheese we could do something French. You could do something about gingers. Let's see what happens when I type in ginger. Ginger, 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 ginger. The one you would like? <laughs> Do that one, okay. <laughs> Got it. All right, let's go to sound files. <laughs> All right, go to events, add event. Sean the ginger. And it should be this one. Submit. All right, here you go. Ginger, 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 ginger. No worries, Sean. Take care of him. See, it worked that time. That was the first time you you typed in chat since I put the command in. <laughs> Tell your mama say hello. Uh, any if anybody else in chat would like a sound command. Uh, let me know, and I can look up some sound alerts. Austin, would you like one? You come in here all the time. Would you like a sound effect? Let's see if there's something. How about easy mode? Let's see. Or I want to be Winston. Let's play the game. Oh, let's break it down. Hmm. <laughs> Two to the one, from the one, two to the three. What's up? This is Jeff from the Overwatch team. Tesla, the cavalry's here. Tesla, the cavalry. That's loud. That's loud. Oh, here's a roadhog. 
cog one. <laughs> it's the same bacon one more time. <laughs> Stop hammer time. Stop hammer time. <laughs> this is awesome. You like jazz? Oh, I can look that one up. You like jazz? You like jazz? You like jazz? Oh my god. You like jazz? Let's do this one. Alright. You like jazz? I like it. I like it. Download. Let's add. Austin. Okay. You like jazz? You like jazz? Yeah, a little bit louder. That's kind of a soft sound to like. There you go, Austin. Yours is there. I'm also going to give you a command. You've got yours now too. Wonderful. Sweet. I like it. I like it. Yay. <laughs> I know you need to mention it to Sean when he gets back. He is um, helping his mom out with an errand real quick, but we can surprise him when he gets back. Just remember, exclamation point, uh, Austin. Actually, I don't think it's going to work because I have it only to go once per hour. <laughs> so it may not work. But that's okay. I can I can overwrite it on my side and I can do an extra one. But, anywho. Um, mm, 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 mm. I'm eating some fruit salad that I made as part of my dinner. Let's go ahead and get... Let's go ahead and get uh, stream readers going. Let's see. Place two archers. All right, archer it is. Bam. Bam. Actually, no. Bam. There you go. Uh, Stream Riders is ready. Click on that link or exclamation point battle. Either one will get you in here. Um, that's what we have for today. I am going to be working on a crochet project, which I didn't even take a snapshot of the picture like I usually do. Let me take a snapshot of the picture. Hold on. Here we go. Save. All right. I'm going to come over to my crafting page while I get everything ready. Image. The one done. Bam. This is what we are doing today. Why is it so bright? I know I changed my webcam earlier because I was recording a song. But golly. All right, we're going to lower this back down. There we go. Oh, much better. There. Whew. I was recording a song for one of the occupational therapists. She requested a song from me for one of her students. So I opted for that. Stream Raiders, you don't need to be on. Boop. Oh, look, you guys get to see my crotch. Maybe I should keep Stream Raiders on. <laughs> Maybe I should keep it on. Yikes. Anywho, so I'm working on this bear. This is who I am making today. I already have one arm, both of the legs, and both of the ears done. So I need to make the other arm, which is what I've got currently on my hook, and then the the head and the body. And that should probably take us the entire stream to do because it, it's a very large bear. I wasn't expecting it to be as large as it's coming out because I'm using a smaller hook than the pattern calls for. But sometimes that happens, and that is okay. It's for a return customer of mine, and uh, 
what? She bought, she's already bought five things from me this year alone, so I'm not concerned. <laughs> I know she's going to appreciate it and that it's not like something incredibly super tiny that I'm charging her a lot of money for or anything. having a lovely Monday or Tuesday depending on where you are in the world. Where's my little thingy? Here it is. Here, eat bee. I'm sorry for canceling stream last minute yesterday, but man, I was just in a funk. Yesterday was a really, I don't know why, I just, I woke up and just started to feel like really sorry for myself. I got really into a depressive headspace. Um, nothing was really make, bringing me joy. I didn't feel good. I just felt overwhelmed and tired and exhausted. So I, I tried to kick the funk and I went to go eat at a new restaurant. I went to go out and buy some yarn. Took myself like on a little personal date kind of thing. Because I haven't went out to go eat in a very, very long time. I, I don't like spending money at fast food restaurants, and most fast food restaurants I can't really eat at unless it's going to be a $10 salad, and ain't no way in hell I'm going to spend $10 on a salad. But I watched Shark Tank the other day, and there's this new restaurant called Project Pollo, and it's, uh, contrary to the, to the name, it's all plant-based, so it was chicken nuggets or chicken tenders or chicken sandwich or chicken mac, mac and cheese that's all plant-based and I've never had plant-based food before so I figured why not go try it they had a, a gluten-free popcorn chicken and so I went and it was really really yummy but damn my stomach was not having it afterwards I felt worse after eating there because when I came home my stomach was gurgly it was really upset and I was stuck in the bathroom, TMI, I know, for a little while. And then I just did not feel good afterwards. Uh, they, they probably used um, gluten-free flour for the breading or gluten-free panko. I'm not really sure. But, yeah, it's, it's like a soy-based product. Uh, I've, I've never tried it. But, yeah, it, it was 100% vegan. I don't do vegan food. I've never done vegan food. I'm not opposed to it, but it was just, I mean, it was interesting. It was a big, big plate, and it had about 20 or so pieces in it for popcorn chicken, and I was like, I'll try it, and it, it was really good. Like I said, it was really yummy, but my stomach did not like it afterwards. It did not sit well with my digestive system. Hello, Corvus. Did you get your pizza? Did you get your pizza? Vegan food is rough if you aren't used to the substitutes. Yeah, so I don't even know what it was made out of. I don't know if it was made out of soy or tofu. I don't, I don't have a clue. All I knew is that when I watched it on the, the pitch on Shark Tank, all the sharks were saying how absolutely delicious it was, that it was the best plant-based chicken they've ever had in their life. And I was like, oh, well, I'll go try it since they have multiple stores here in Austin. I was like, I'll try it. I, just, I wasn't feeling, I wasn't feeling it. And then when I got home, I, I chilled and I chatted in Zella Zam stream for a while. And we talked about how birds take a nap every 14 and a half minutes. So I was like, I'm gonna go take a nap. And I, I fell asleep on the couch for about two hours. And then when I woke up, uh, it was about five o'clock at that time. I, w I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel worse than when I before I went to take a nap. Like I felt worse waking up from the nap than pre-nap. So that's when I canceled stream. So I, I apologize for canceling stream on you guys, but I did do a lot um, 
towards the the diamond art piece. I, like I, I mentioned in, in the Discord, I'm about halfway done with it now. You did eat some of your pisha? Good, yum. They probably blew up their toilets too? Probably, probably. Kevin, how was your trip to Canada? Did it snow on you? Good. I'm glad you bought the ears because you could not be a true Disney World visitor without having Mickey ears on your head. <laughs> it was good. No snow really met a lot of people you've worked with for years for the first time. Nice. It drained you socially. The oh, I, I feel that so hard in my soul. <coughs> Potion does too, apparently. Because th this is going to be a week of socializing. Because on Wednesday, my my work group, the OTPT Music Therapy Department, they're doing a happy hour thing. Mike, thank you for the 100 biddies. I appreciate it. Um, my, like I said, my, my team is doing a happy hour thing right after work. Oh my gosh. Mike, why are you giving me more biddies? What's with all the biddies? Grayson says, thank you. Grayson says, thank you for the biddies. It helps fund their dog treat habit. Their dog treat addiction. <laughs> Mike, what are you doing? <laughs> thank you for the biddies. <laughs> All the biddy titties. <laughs> There's no titties on stream. Just just crotch. There's no titties on my my face is covering up the titties. Just crotch shot. And Grayson's face. I'll show you guys Grayson's face. He deserves to be seen. He deserves to be seen. Ma'am, cover my hoo-ha. There you go. I cover it with my hand. <laughs> Because you're happy. I'm so glad. I, I am happy for you to be in Disney and on vacation mode. G Monet, Uncle Kevin said, I got you. Tiggle Biddies or Riot? Is it what it Is it what it Yummies. Thank you, Uncle Kev. Thank you, Uncle Kevin. <laughs> Potion's down here too, but you guys can't really see her from this angle. You sort of can if I if I made my face go away. Um, hold on, if I can find my face. There we go. There she is. There she is. Hi. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Ah, uh, these dogs, though. Uh, but like I was saying, so Wednesday is going to be happy hour with my entire department, which means the entire department, as we all know what's been happening the last couple of months. I'm so excited! I'm so excited! And then on Thursday, I'm going with a, another department, the VI department, which is the uh, Teachers of the Visually Impaired. Uh, they, I used to be a part of their department and their team for years, and so they invited me to go out and get either brunch or lunch. They haven't quite decided yet, uh, but that'll be on Thursday. So I've, I understand you, Kevin. I've got just two days worth of socializing with a bunch of different people, and I'm already feeling tired. It hasn't even happened yet. <laughs> Meg, thank you for the epic bust on the battlefield. Yeah, Kevin, yes. Yes. Uh, my face says it all. I'm still, 
I, I was sent an email on Friday that I still haven't replied to because I don't I don't know how to reply to it. I feel like it's a trap. I don't feel like anything good can come out of of a response to to the email. I, I definitely meant to reply today. I just forgot and also haven't written or drafted up a response quite yet. Because I'm, I'm trying to remain as professional as possible. I'm trying to maintain my boundaries, but I'm also trying not to be a bitch. I'm trying not to be a douchebag. I'm trying to let bygones be bygones, um, keep things that happened in the past in the past, move forward, give grace, all those good things. I'm really trying. It's hard. It is hard. and. I acknowledge the challenge that I have with that. Uh, I am a person who holds grudges. I will acknowledge that. I hold grudges. Is it healthy for me? No. But I haven't quite learned necessarily the best coping mechanism for that. So uh, what I'm telling you is to say go fuck yourself isn't professional. Correct. Especially in writing, because then that could get forwarded to my boss. So, have an awesome Sunday even. Thank you, Mike. Enjoy the rest of your time at Disney. I hope you have the best time and ride all the roller coasters, because roller coasters are my jam. I would live on roller coasters if I could. They're my favorite things in the whole world. Okay, making a note not to get on your bad side. <laughs> See, I'm just telling you guys how, how it goes. I'm giving you all the inside scoop on, on Becca Brain. You've been trying to get on my bad side for ages now? Well, see, you just have to call me rude and disrespectful and go behind my back to the school board and the superintendent. Duh. Come on, Conan. Get with it. Jeez. See you later, Mike. Goodbye. Oh, Kevin, question for you. I have a very important question for you. Would you like a sound alert that only you have? Ma'am, we literally said rude to each other all the time. You, you can say rude, but you're not calling me rude. You are just telling me things that I say is rude. You're not calling me as a human being, calling my character into question. Okay, so what sound do you like? Do you have a favorite, favorite movie sound, a favorite video game sound, a favorite meme sound, um, anything that you would like that you enjoy? You have one thing? What's up, Mike? Is it hombre? But that's for Aeolus. somewhere and just let me know and I can look it up uh, on the on my instance and I can see what I can find how's it going evermore you're gonna tell me on Instagram <laughs> okay nevermore how's the weather in South Africa this time of year is it miserably hot where you are Hello, doggos. Hello, doggos. It's 
probably raining in Africa, at least according to Toto. <laughs> did I end up presenting those? I did, uh, sort of. So my boss did not end up being available for a meeting for me to present it, as well as my team lead. Neither one were available. So I ended up just sharing the document with a written description of what I did and why I did it. Uh, my coworker still is using the old document. So I, I don't know. I, I plan on only using the new document going forward, the one that we spent six hours working on. But uh, if she doesn't want to do that, then then cool, it's fine and dandy, that's all on her. Um, I, I broke it down and I told her I'm happy to explain it to her. Uh, and the expectation that I have of what she needs to do to edit to make sure her, her portion is up to date for data analysis and all that kind of stuff. And she seemed like she was on board and agreed with it. And even to today, she's still using the old document. Old habits die hard, I understand that, but using the old document and you updating something that I'm not using and me updating something you're not using is not good for either of us. Because when we do need to present our data and our findings and our numbers to ask for uh, another position down the road, it's gonna be a hot mess. And it's gonna seem like we don't have our shit together. But, I, oh well. I guess, right? <laughs> it's going into winter, but it's been raining nonstop. Durban Town is underwater flood. Oh my gosh. Really? So despite what Toto says, I have just the ignorance about me. I just always assume that Africa as a continent is just all desert and it rarely rains. And I know that's completely ignorant on my part because the Sahara does not take up the entire continent. But I just assume. Just like I assume New Mexico and Arizona also rarely get any rain. You know? But when I explained the graph to my team lead, she seemed really excited about about the whole thing. What is going on with YouTube right now? All right, I'm changing channels because this is annoying. Why are you doing dumb stuff? Let's go to this one. Friends, like, to me, like... Go away. I don't want to see an ad. Uh, but she seemed really excited about it and said that she would like to learn from me on making the graphs and seeing if what I have put together would be something that she would want to implement as well. Uh, so the fact that my team lead really enjoys it, I haven't heard any comments from my boss, but the fact that my team lead enjoys it, that is meaningful to me. No, it snows here where you live during the summer. Oh, nice. African rainforests feeling left out. That's true. That's true. I guess there are the rainforests, aren't there? But deforestation is a thing, so. <laughs> You've got plenty of rain. Where do I think all the lovely grapes come from in this world? Really? I thought grapes came from, like, Italy. Because wine. Becca is the master. Becca is the Time Lord. Um, Time Lordess. Thank you very much. Good. <laughs> I did tell my team lead. I said that I spent six hours working on updating that document and getting the pages all to work together, the graph to work together, and that I called upon you and Crypto to assist me. And she thought that it was awesome that as a team, we were able to teamwork it out to make it happen. The Time Lady. Ah, oh, there we go. Yes. Yes, there we go. Ooh. 
nice. I'm on my last round. Didn't even realize it. Phew. Uh, the dogs are being obnoxious. So that's what that growling sound is in the back. Just giving you a heads up. Teamwork makes the dream a re I agree. 100% I agree. shoulder she is yelling at Grayson and I wish they would stop Speaking of grapes, delicious. You're loving the music though, it makes you feel slightly sad. This playlist is called Relaxation Music Healing Stress, Anxiety, and Depressive States. So maybe it's doing the opposite. Maybe it's making you sad instead of healing the sadness. You're not a grape expert? Well, come on, Nevermore. Didn't you go to grape school? <laughs> Get it? Grape school? Grade school? Grape school? Oh, stop. Lots of those playlists tend to cause a focus on those feelings. All right, well, y'all are being bitches, so okay, let's swap music. Jesus, gosh. Let's find angry music then. Oh, here we go, relaxing GameCube music. Here we go. Relaxing GameCube music. How about that? No. Here we go. GameCube music. <laughs> Am I gonna get DMCA'd for any of this? Ooh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. I never did finish playing that. I think I own that, actually. It's like your feelings were just invalidated. Yeah, they were. Because you told me you didn't want to feel those feelings. That one was a little too weird to you. I could see that. I feel like I own it though. I do kind of want to go back through uh, my, my GameCube discs and see if there are any games that one, I didn't play all the way through or never played at all. 
but also if there's something I want to replay and see if I could hook my GameCube up to, re to stream. This is loud. Why on earth are you so loud? There, goodness. Because yes, I do still have my GameCube. Does it turn on? I have no idea. So that would be another test. I have no clue if my GameCube still even turns on. You're listening to your own music because you usually put on reggae because you can't feel down with how upbeat it is. That's fair. That's true. There we go. All right, got another arm. We have two arms. Hooray! Two arms, two legs, and two ears. Perfect. Let's see here. Ugh. Whoops. Oh no, I just knocked down, but I knocked something down. Um, that's all my Wii. I'm trying to see if I where my GameCube stuff is. Right here. Here we go, all my GameCube games. Let's see, what do we have here? We've got The Lord of the Rings, The Third Age, Luigi's Mansion, Summoner, A Goddess Reborn, um, Evolution Worlds, Naruto, Clash of Ninja. There's disc two of Lord of the Rings. You feel like we need a leg emoji now because of my legs? Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. Harvest Moon, Magical Melody. That's the one that I really want to play on stream if I can get my GameCube hooked up. Uh, Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Mario Party 4. Pac-Man Fever. That was a great game. Can I just tell you all the Pac-Man games? Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance. That's the one I was talking about in stream the other day. So I told you I played a Baldur's Gate. There it is. I knew there was a Baldur's Gate. You so feel that you, uh, though you tend to have music on so it cancels without any thoughts because your brain has too many trains overload? Yeah, I understand that. Mar uh, Mon Mario Party. Monopoly Party. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. So I do have that one, yeah, okay. Gauntlet Dark Legacy, also a favorite of mine. Pac-Man Versus. Spider-Man. Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. Pikmin. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Falsehood Kingdom. Pokemon Coliseum. Pac-Man World 2, The Sims. Zelda Wind Waker. Zelda Ocarina of Time. Super Smash Bros. Melee. The Hobbit, Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Monkey Ball, <laughs> Super Monkey Ball 2, Animal Crossing, Tales of Symphonia, Disc 1 and Disc 2, Cowboy, and Zapper. Those are all of my GameCube games, plus all of the memory cards that were required to play said GameCube games. Symphonia is legit, yes. Absolutely, it was a fantastic game. Loved that game. Loved that game. Welcome in, cowboy. You have so many different types of balance between like jazz, folk pop, classic rock, classical, video game stuff, movies, and... Yeah, I usually just leave my Amazon Music Unlimited, I leave it on just random. I'm like, play whatever you want to. Same thing with Pandora. I just leave Pandora on and let it play whatever it wants to. Take them to, to GameStop and get a dollar for all of it? Uh, no. 
I keep all my shit. I still have my old virtual boy at my parents' house. Grayson, please stop drooling on me. Please stop drooling on me. You're making my leg wet. I don't want, I don't want you. I don't want your head being here making me all wet. I know, chat thinks you're cute. Chat's weird. Chat also wants stream writers to, to go do the thing. So, let's do the thing right here. 45 allies to 38 enemies. Endlesses with six, Ithlock with six units. Thank you guys for your units. Conan has redeemed Grace and Potion Treat. He said, here you go, Bubbers. He said, here you go, Bubbers. The only one you don't listen to is rap, because he usually doesn't interest you, and a lot of it seems I have derogatory demeaning. Like, same here. I don't listen to hardly any hip-hop or rap for that same reason. I just, I feel dirty when I listen to it a lot of the times when I hear even the female rappers talking about their, their bodies and their lady parts and all that kind of stuff. It's not my, not my jam. Single digits, three, two, one. Bam. Finding Serenity with most kills and most assists and ending up in first place with 10 and 9. Followed by Analysis. Conan, myself, Cosplay Meg, Ithlock, USA, uh, Truncated Polyhedron, that's a long name, Kissity, and Yuko PL. Rounding out the top 10. Conan, getting extra scrolls. Meg, you get some extra monies. Don't spend it all in one place. Daddy Munchers Chip, welcome in! Hello, how's it going? We are going into a loyalty boss chest. To place one more of these. Uh, place wherever you would like to. I don't care where you place or what you place. Just place all your units because it is a boss. So let's type out. Oh my gosh, can you please go away? Thank you. B. listened to recently would be a popular monster by falling in reverse but that song in general is such a roller coaster of enjoyment of transitioning between genres interesting no idea daddy do you mind me calling you daddy let me know if you want me to call you something else how you doing welcome in all right yum i finally delivered finished eating my delicious fruit salad. Let's head back to, bam, this bear. Let's get back to it. You can always call me Daddy Uwu. Daddy Uwu. Uwu, Grayson, what do you want? Why are you on me? Honey, me. I will call you, I promise I will call you as soon as it gets redeemed. You've had two of them. You've had some head scritches. You've had ear scritches. I need both of my hands to crochet. I cannot crochet one-handed. I'm not that cool. Oh my gosh. Sylve has also redeemed Grace and Potion Treat. Potion is now awake. It says, ooh, yay. I highly suggest you listen to that song, though. It speaks volumes. And Uncle Conan again. Here we go. One... This is all four of them. Board Pony, thank you for the epic barbarian on the battlefield. And last one, and then you guys can go away. 
post it, Conan, if you can find the link to the music, post it in the Becca Music channel in the Discord so I have a chance to find it later because Lord knows I'm not going to remember. I guarantee I won't remember. <laughs> oh, this is Harvest Moon! Here you go, guys. This song is Harvest Moon. Where's my teddy bear? Okay, now we've done the arms. Now we're gonna go to the body and the head. All right, the body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. You think the dude even is for people listening to on things? Oh, okay, he loves seeing people react to it. Nice. Cowboy, thank you for the epic flag bear. I saw a picture of Biscuit. Biscuit's getting so big. What are you feeding that dog? Golly. It's in the channel. Thank you. Appreciate it. I will make sure to listen to it after after stream. Like one of the other things I don't like about most rap music is the 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 vulgarity of the language that they use as well. Um, a lot of the the N word, a lot of different names for women, um, a lot of drugs and sex and alcohol related content. It's it's just not my jam. It's not my scene. And if it's somebody else's jam, awesome. Fantastic. It's just not something I personally choose to listen to. She's getting so big just feeding her Rachel Ray Bright puppy dog food. Speaking of vulgarity, Hollywood Undead just came on. What is that? Is that a movie? It's a very specific slice of culture. There's so much great hip hop that isn't related to any of that. True. True. Rap group that literally is how I describe what I don't like. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Welcome in, Aeolus. <laughs> My throat is still not quite where I want it to be. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's allergies. I took a COVID test and that came back negative. Um, but I mean, my throat has just been raspy for a very long time. And I don't know if my voice just got shot after all the screaming that came from Resident Evil and the startles of Baldur's Gate and all that kind of stuff and little nightmares and all that, but my voice has just not come back. <laughs> Damn it, is that it spooked you? <laughs> the song I post, uh, he posted is very satisfying. You're going to add this to your Spotify playlist. Nice! Hungry! <laughs> I'm glad you like that one, Aeolus. <laughs> Good boy. Now Grayson is laying under the table on his bed. I'm really glad that I chose to move 
his dog bed under my table where I do my diamond dart stuff because both him and Potion have been using that um, that dog bed way more than they have ever. Because I had that dog bed just laying over in the corner of the room and it just never got used. It was a, a spot where Potion ended up just tossing some toys and forgetting about them. But once I moved it under the the table where I where Grayson lays down often, he's like, ooh, I can lay down here and be comfortable? Amazing. They just want to be next to me. I know, I know. I love them so much. They are just the sweetest. So don't forget, when I'm when I'm crocheting in the round, I have to do a lot of math, so that's why I get quiet every now and then. Got one more row of increases, then I can talk. Your cats are the same. It's one of the reasons you have a floor desk and not a normal desk. Yeah. Uh, I have definitely considered getting a dog cam, but where Grace and a Potion like to lay, if I had a, if I had a dog cam just pointed to where they like to lay, you guys are going to be seeing up my dress, and that's not okay with me. Really don't want you guys seeing any of this. Okay? Okay. <laughs> you also constantly sit cross-legged so this works better. Yeah, I, I mean clearly, I mean you can't really see, but I mean here's my, my foot. I, I sit either on one leg or crisscrossed pretty much constantly. Super Mario Sunshine. Heck yeah. <sighs> Feet! Don't tell Honda. As long as Honda's not in here. He doesn't want to see my feet. What a weirdo, I know, right? He gets feet for free and refuses to see it? Nerd. Gosh. He actually pays me to not show him my feet. From wrap to ease, bound and down. Such a change of pace. <laughs> You think you're gonna start entering my streams with Hombre instead of Phasmo? Hey, I wouldn't put it past you. If that's what you wanna do, Aeolus, you do you, boo. When are we gonna play some more Phasmar? We need to play some more Phasmar. Are you gonna play Phasmer with us? Phasmer Furbier? How many rows is this? Eight to 17, all right. Lots of just going in a circle. Just going in a circle. 
Never heard of it, you wimp. Yes, you have. You've been in my streams when I've played it. It's ghost hunting. It's ghost hunting. Not like Luigi's Mansion, but you hunt the ghosts. More like they hunt you. The Stream Raiders battle is going on right now. We are doing a boss fight, so as many units as you can get in, I appreciate. We want to beat this boss. Beat it down with a stick and swords and arrows and murder. Thank you for the link. Is this, am I going from top down? Yes. No. No, I'm going from belly up. Okay, so I'm starting from the body. So I'm, all this part is the, is the body. Okay. So it looks like the body and the head are combined, which is really nice. I enjoy not having to match up the openings uh, when when I crochet a body and a head separately you have to match up the ends of the yarn to make sure it each stitch fits in with the next stitch so just one less thing for me to have to to match up and so on which is nice I enjoy patterns that do that like Zelda. Oh, it's not. Tales of Symphonia. Okay. I haven't played that game since I was 13, so give me a break. <laughs> you literally said out loud, this kind of sounds like Zelda. <laughs> High five, Karen. <laughs> High five for both of us being dumb. Meg, thank you for the epic buster on the battlefield. turn my GameCube on and play some of, my old, some of my old games on stream, would that be something you guys would be interested in seeing? Or would you rather see something with like really cool graphics off of Steam? Do you want to see old school games or would you prefer me playing more uh, current and popular games. And don't pull the whole, whatever you want, I'll be here for whatever you want to play. Don't pull that. I'm looking at you, Conan. What, you weren't listening? Good. Here we go, here's Zelda. <laughs> I 
Um, I had asked, what would you guys rather see me play? Uh, if I can get my GameCube to turn on and hook up to my computer, would you want to watch some old school games? Or would you rather me stick with the current games and games that are like on Steam with higher quality? Zelda, love that little dude. <laughs> Retro Saturdays. I could do that for sure. I could do that for sure, and I could move um, Stardew to Fridays. Because I want to keep it Stardew uh, with Purple Kitty as much on her weekend as possible, since she does have to work, and I, as the awesome person, don't really have to work after Friday. Uh, like I mentioned at the very beginning of stream, I am going to take on a few private clients over the summer, just have some extra income because money has been pretty tight for me recently and that extra couple hours a week of working will, will be very helpful. I like that idea though, Retro Saturdays. Can you post that in the uh, other games channel please so I don't forget? And I will try to figure out plugging in my GameCube. <laughs> Private. Now this sounds like Super Mario Sunshine, but it's not. This is Mario Kart Double Dash. But this sounds more Super Mario Sunshine than anything. I finally got a chance to binge watch all of WandaVision. So now I I feel like Doctor Strange makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I felt like I was missing out on a big section of the plot by not knowing why Wanda had kids and not knowing why Wanda was so angry and mean. It made a lot more sense now. Oh, gee, we should have done that before the movie. <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't even think about it. I didn't know it was going to be something that I needed to watch beforehand. Whoa, 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 she has spoilers. <laughs> she has kids. Sort of. She sort of has kids. Just like I sort of have kids. She has spoilers. Two little spoilers. And they, they go on her truck. Double spoilage. See, I saved you two and a half hours. <laughs> I ne we never even did talk about the movie afterwards, Kevin. What did you think about it? No spoilers, of course, but just in general. What did you think? Dude! No, it's not. It's Mario Power Tennis. This is Mario Power Tennis. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. 
It probably is. Um, according to this video, at least, it does say Mario Par Mario Power Tennis Delfino Plaza Court. So I guess in Mario Power Tennis, they use the map from Super Mario Sunshine, because I see on the background of the actual case itself is Delfino Plaza. So they probably used the same music in both games. It's a sunshine themed court scene. Yeah. I bought the... Hi, Chicky. Chicky Chicky's here! You're awake? What did they knock you out at the dentist? All the laughing gas. The movie was pretty cool for you. You actually liked the Raimi stuff that made it kind of pseudo horror. Yeah! You took a nap because your mouth was sore. That's fair. Naps are wonderful things. Also, you legit jump scared during it, so did the person next to you. What a weirdo. Imagine getting jump scared from a horror scene. Could not be me at all. <laughs> Mouth was sore. <laughs> Uh, like I was saying, that on the Switch, I bought the the Mario 3-pack or whatever that includes um, Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario N64. Uh, and I attempted to play some of Mario 64 on the Switch, and I still am trash at that. I it's That game's hard. That game is just hard as hell. So I swapped over to play Sunshine, and that game's also hard as hell. So I gave up on that one too. You want people to play the forest with you? Um, no. Why? Why would you want to play the forest, Chicky? You need to try Switch Mario. Come over. You can you can play it anytime. Don't don't spend money on it. Come over and play on mine. I'll bake you cookies. Because it's scary. <laughs> cookies, I meant, yes. See, bribery. The way to friendship is through their, their stomachs. See, yes, yes. I've got two people, yes. Super Monkey Ball 2. You assume she meant the one with Donk Town or whatever it's called. Donk Town? Donkey Kong? Donkville? He wears hats. What? Who wears hats? I wear hats. row and I didn't even realize it. Perfect. I love when that happens. When I'm just talking shenanigans with you guys and then it works out perfectly that I just know how many rows I'm on. Oh, so good. Because I had already recently, and by recently I mean like four or so years ago, um, I played through Super Mario Galaxy with my friend Justin we did the two-player mode, and we played through 100%ed Super Mario Galaxy. So I really don't want to play Super Mario Galaxy again, since I've already played through it 100%. Um, that's why I was trying to do N64 or uh, Super Mario Sunshine. I was like, I, I never did play all the way through either of those games. 
and on on Sunshine is is the race with the shadow guy. The the shadow guy races. I just cannot for the life of me do them. The con and the controls in uh, Mario 64, the the camera angles and control uh, it's it's hard. It's doesn't work with my brain. Oh, that's the one. Oh, Mario Odyssey. I don't I don't own that one. That's one that Ryan had on his Switch. Um, I never did play it on my Switch. I, I played through the game. I beat the game on his Switch. <laughs> Conan, thank you for the epic necromancer on the battlefield. Hi, sweet boy. I'm giving him some lovin's. Hold on. Gotta give DeGrace and boy some scritches. Are there more Switch Marios than that one? Um, there's S Super Mario, blah, Paper Mario, sorry, Paper Mario Origami King on the Switch. There's Odyssey, uh, there's Mario Maker, there's the, like I said, the, the three pack that they re-released from the Wii to the Switch, Mario Party, let's just go to the Googles, Switch Mario. So it looks like on the Nintendo Switch they've got Super Mario Odyssey, Mario 64, Mario 3D World, that's the other one I was thinking, um, Super Mario 3D World, Mario Bros, Mario Bros. 3, Mario Maker 2, Mario 3D All-Stars, Mario Kart, Mario Rabbids, Mario Sonic, Mario Kart 64, Mario Bros. 35, All-Stars, Super, the new Super Mario Brother U, and the new Super Luigi U, Yoshi Story, Yoshi, Mario Tennis, Donkey Kong, and versus Mario, Super Mario Brothers. You, you actually got us to list all Marios. Which Mario is the one that I have? I have, um, da -da 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 -da. I have Mario 3D World, but it's on the Wii U for me. I do have Super Mario Brother, that's also on the Wii U. The only ones on the Switch that I have are Paper Mario, Origami King, I've got the Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, um, and Super Mario Odyssey. Oh, not Odyssey, sorry. Galaxy. Super Mario Galaxy. I do not have Odyssey. Right, Stream Raiders is ready. We've got Conan and Kissity with six units each. Thank you, Tryhards. Let's see. Let's try and kill somebody over here. Good luck. Have fun. Y'all are going the wrong direction. You are not. You are not using. You are not using my killing field. Y'all, it, it's right here. It's it's right here. Thank you to Meg. Meg, thank you for using this. And Kissity, thank you for using this. The entire reason that I put this down here was for you nerds. Thank you for finally using it. Watch out, healers. They're coming for your booty. They killed your booty. They done killed your booty. Down to 12 enemies left. Finding serendipity in the lead with most kills and most assists. Single digits. We are directionally chon. Y'all are bad. Y'all are terrible. If I tell you guys to go right, you definitely go in a circle and end up going left. Three enemies left. Y'all not healing me. Y'all not healing me. Res me, Conan. Conan, res me. I don't think we I don't think we're gonna do this because there's just two big bad boss boys and they are ranged and we aren't. <laughs> Your Neko really was confused, yeah. There you go, Centurion. Do some things. Poor Berserker. Run away, cowboy! Oh, no! Goodbye! Goodbye, cruel world! Goodbye, cowboy! Goodbye, cowboy! Here comes, cowboy! Goodbye, cowboy! 
Wah, wah. Rest in peace, cowboy. We'll try that again. Now that you nerds know what to do. Alright, we're gonna try that again. So let's do... I'm gonna place a roguey rogue up here. Let's do... Some stuff here. Bunch of ranged. And some supports. And then we're gonna put... Rogie Rogues. A line of explosions. This sounds like Pikmin. Oh, okay. Never mind. Alright, there we go. Conan and Truncated Polyhedron. Thank you for getting your units in super quickly. Also, let me go over to the store. Spend some of my gold on upgrades. Collect my quests. Earn 100 gold. Just did it. Heck yeah. Get 12 assists. Place 5 necromancers. That's right. I need to place necromancers. Oh, yeah. What? What, what? What about what, what? What, what, what? I don't even know how you're responding to me when you're listening to my stream without audio. I'm pretty sure I don't have closed captioning. I tried to get closed captioning, but I'm pretty sure I don't have closed captioning. I know. I know you can't hear me, but other people can. It's not all about you, Conan. It's not all about you. Gosh. Always thinking things are about him. Uh, he's listening to music. Oh, yes? What's up, Corvus? What's up, Poppy? Look. No, Chicky, I haven't. I didn't check my mailbox today, though. Corvus, yay! I am happy you got it. Now you're just going to keep saving your points again. <laughs> it might have been delivered. I just haven't checked the mailbox, Chicky. I'm assuming you are wanting Growlithe. That's it, my mailbox. Ayo. How did I know? I'm just that good. I can read minds. Regular or shiny Growlithe? Alright, let me write that down. Pretty sure I already have you written down in my to-dos. I did. I already had you written down in my to-dos. You can't see that. See number two? I have Growlithe right there.
<laughs> I'm so happy you were able to do it. Thank you for your support. Becca has Corvus on her to do's. Giggity. Ayo. Ayo. <laughs> Once I'm able to get this um, this baby gift done, all of my commissions will be complete, and then I can start working on yours, Corvus. So it's good timing. Almost. All right, so I've got those two rows done. Shows has been delivered. Ooh. I'm much excited. Oh, Chicky, did you notice what's next to your name? Did you notice the symbol that's next to your name? Yeah! I just closed down. Hello. I know. I was really excited. I gave it to you and Purple. Excuse me. You and Purple Kitty and somebody else. Who else did I give it to? Wonder Ridge, welcome in. Thank you for joining in the battle. <laughs> Oh, Austin, you missed Chicky's entrance. Chicky, Chicky. <laughs> Legendary Kirby, welcome in. You just got hate discord joined? What? We had that happen a couple years ago, but it was by somebody I knew who was just an asshole. Thankfully it wasn't by just random people. Oh, I'm so sorry you had to experience that. That's stupid. I hate, I hate people. You missed it? You love it? <laughs> it's only good once an hour. Sorry, Chicky. Once an hour. And it automatically comes in every time you, uh, the first time you talk in chat, it should automatically go off. Woo! 
Where have I been? Haven't seen me for a long time. I've been here. Um, I, I've been streaming pretty consistently. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but I was off yesterday. I wasn't feeling great. Just kind of in a blah funk mood. It just was not a good day, so I opted to not stream yesterday. Um, I know Twitch has been removing notifications from some people, so it might be that it removed the notification for you. But um, also you can come into my Discord if, if you want notifications, you can also come on my Discord. I post my schedule there. I also post it on Twitter and Instagram. So here are my socials. If you want to see what my weekly schedule is going to look like. People are done, indeed. Please show you. You must do it for all. Absolutely, I will, I will show you. I had Zam show me. It's super easy. Zam actually showed me how to do it. Hi, baby girl. Hi, sweetheart. You guys see her? You guys see this face? Look at this cute butt. Look at this cutie cutie face. Oh my goodness. You like a nice black dog? You like it? She is a good girl. She's a good girl. She's an annoying girl, but she's a good girl. done that one. What on earth is this? Oh, this is Crystal Chronicles as well. All right. Huh. The pushing BB. So we are currently working on, for anybody that is new into chat, I am working on a teddy bear. That's the picture next to my face here. I'm working on a little teddy bear. And then, as of this coming Friday, I will be on summer break. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be wonderful. I'm very excited. June is going to go by so quickly because I'm pumped and eager for my Australia trip in July. Uh, but before that even happens, this coming Saturday is my stream anniversary. So if you would please invite your friends invite your families invite your enemies invite your co-workers invite strangers your neighbors your delivery people and tell them that my stream my stream anniversary 12 hour stream will be on saturday 10 a.m central standard time uh, how old is she she is nine months and yes one of the incentives for um for donating is going to be custom stickers made by the beautiful Chiki. You should have mailed me more. Don't worry about it, girl. Don't even worry about it. If for some reason people order, uh, if, if they want more than I, than I currently have been shipped, I will let you know and we can coordinate, we can coordinate that. Yeah. She's my little baby girl. She's my little baby. How have your guys' Mondays been? Um, I know I was telling Chicky earlier, I also had to go to the dentist today. I got a 
glowing review. They said my teeth look amazing. I've done a lot of hard work. And they're happy to report there's no cavities. Nothing of concern for them this checkup. Why are Monday so tiresome? Yes. Yes. I agree. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Ew, dentists. Thankfully, we only have to go to them twice a year. It's not the, the best thing, but it's also not the worst. I would rather go to the dentist than have to go to the gynecologist for my yearly exam. Would much rather somebody be cleaning out my teeth than cleaning out my lady bits. <clears throat> You're working on your logos for Effie Zulus? Did they not approve the one that you were working on? So I know you were working on it last time. Are you still making edits to it? One for the server and, and four teams. There are four teams inside of Effie Zulus. Like four tiers of teams. Oh my gosh, kind of like um, Nova and Nebula. mess with you. I am so sorry sister bothered you. I'm sorry she did. Effie's jaguars, panthers, lynx, and tigers. Oh, okay. I had no idea. The more you know, I learned something today. How's Nova and Nebula doing? Are you guys still playing in, in League? Like, do you have any League games coming up? Here, sweetheart. It's not. It's not hot in here. I've got the fan on. I've got the fan running in the bedroom. I have the fan running in here. It's actually like really beautiful outside right now, but too bad I'm streaming. I can't take you out. I can't take you on a WALK. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm sorry. I stream in. Nova's been off season doing March Madness and Oasis. Nebula has had a tough BT season, but you're still playing. Sometimes that happens though. Sometimes you've got really good seasons and sometimes you've got rough ones. As long as you guys are having fun and learning something, that's what matters, right?
How was comp earlier? Sean was like, you should come play. I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> you guys would not have wanted me in a comp match when I haven't even touched the game in seven months. <laughs> Went pretty well, awesome. of the bear. Now, I gotta start making the head. Cheers to you. Thirteen. Fifteen. <laughs> Zoom tight. All right. I'm actually honestly surprised that Wonder Mage you got your package so quickly because they told me it was going to be about seven to ten days and for the fact that I got there in two I'm like okay I'm glad I didn't pay for the priority shipping <laughs> that it was just regular shipping. <laughs> but if anybody wants to see what I made for Wonder Mage, um, check out the Twitter. He did post it on Twitter. You're studying going Conan. I said to go potty. So let's take a break in just a second. Let me finish this row. Okay. 
Okay. You're doing so good. Let me finish this row. I'm almost done. Except for when I miss my stitch. music. Oh, this is uh, Paper Mario right here. Cool. Alright, let's pause music. Let's look at Stream Raiders. We've only got four minutes left until the Stream Raiders battle. How are we looking? we got quite a few units. 56 allies on the battlefield so far. Um, three minutes is not going to be enough time for Grayson to go potty, but I will leave you guys on this screen, and I'll be right back anyway. We'll just wait for to run the battle once I get back. So be right back, everybody. Oh, Chicky! Chicky, look what I got! Chicky! Ooh, Purple Kitty, thank you for placing an epic orc slayer on the battlefield. Ooh, Chicky, Chicky! Look what I got! Ma'am, I think you have the same addiction to, to taping up boxes that I do. Ma'am. Grayson, watch your nose or I'm going to slice your nose off. Because Auntie Chicky has taped the box to where I can't get into it. Ugh. <sighs> 
There we go. Oh man, 68 units, you guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. You have one job. 68 units. Stream Raiders, here we go. Let's try this again. You guys do the murder right here. Kill the bad guys. Conan chugs blood and Chell Anderson with six units each. Sixteen enemies left. We just gotta get the big bass, big bass, big boss guys. Hi, stop. Leave me alone. Whee! Oh my goodness! There's so much yarn. You just woke up. <laughs> you had to stop there, otherwise we would have had to turn around. True, true. <laughs> Two enemies left. One enemy left. Easy peasy that time. Amber, 69 with most kills. Sphincter, A, with most assists. Amber, followed by Truncated Polyhedron. Sphincter, O, oh, it's Neb, Alt, Cowboy, Conan, Eco Stream, 12 bonus points, Wonder Mate, and Shaman Jester, rounding out the top 10. Cowboy and Purple Kitty getting some extra scrolls. Ba -da 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 -da. Where do we want to go? I think we want to take the middle route. So do we want to start with a flying thing or a, a stationary thing? They're both the exact same. Flying or stationary? Before we do that, upgrade my berserker. What do you think? Flying or stationary? Chat, you get to choose. So I'm over here just basking in the glory that is this massive ginormous box of yarn that Chicky has sent me. Oh, these are so soft. Cute. Oh my gosh. And then also, bum, 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 stickers. Chicky has made me some stickers. Ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. For our stream anniversary. On Saturday, we have stickers. Yes. How many rows deep is this? Holy heck, Chicky. Good Lord. I need an entire another room for all of this. Good Jesus. You guys can't even see what's happening right here. I'm going to, all right, you guys aren't choosing, so I'm going to choose for you. We're going to do this one. And then I'm going to place a necromancer because that's part of my, my quest. Bam! Hi, Grayson. Bam! 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 You guys, look at this. Look at all of this. Do you guys see this? Do you see this? Look at this massive box of yarn. Look at this. It is just solid yarn. Look at it. Look at it. And when I lift these up, more yarn. Oh, I'm going to have fun going through all of this and color coordinating it and organizing it. Thank you, Chicky. All right, doggos. Thank you, Chicky. No, stop. Back up. You're being naughty. Sit down. You do not need anything else. You've had four cookies from chat. Mommy gave you two extra cookies when I was watching a movie with Sean earlier. 
And then just because I felt like giving one because you were cute, you've had two other cookies for going potty earlier in the day, you're not hungry, you've had two bowls of food, don't be fat, okay? You too. Don't let brother be a bad influence on you. Okay? Yes, you two, here, take this bird. You want this obnoxious bird? Yes? Go play with it. Somewhere else. Don't be fat, you feel personally attacked. Are you over here begging for food, cowboy? Huh? Huh? Well, are you? No, you're not begging for food, therefore you're fine. <laughs> Turn our music back on. What the heck? You mean you could be. But are you? I don't think you are. <sighs> Hello, Brazen. Earn 25 assists from healing. I start placing some healers then. Um, you're a healer. Okay. And you're a healer. Okay. All right, here we go. Still getting bigger. Couldn't math for a second there. One more row of increases, and then we can then we can chit chat and gab like gals. Potion is eating her dinner. That makes me happy. And Brayson supervising apparently. like you want to someday visit but you're scared people there might not like you because you're from Africa uh, well since you're white it's fine <laughs> as racist as that sounds yeah um, be because you're white you're probably gonna be a lot more accepted and they probably aren't even gonna realize you're from Africa they're just gonna think you have an accent therefore they're going to assume you're from Australia or somewhere in Europe. They're not even going to assume you're from South Africa. 
first of all, because we were full of ignorant people. Secondly, it depends on where you travel. Um, but it's truth, sadly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it also depends on where you travel, where you want to visit. Um, I've never been to the Northeast, but most people like to visit New York City. I've never been, so I can't give you any advice or tips on that area. Um, some people like to go to Florida. <laughs> Some people like to go to, to Florida to stick their penis inside of Corvus. Um, <laughs> just saying. Uh, they also like to go to Disney. That's also some place they like to go visit. <laughs> um, where do you think you can travel that's super nice? Uh, also for a single man who is hunting for a lady but not sexual like a man whore. Uh, hunting for a lady and is like, um, probably California. I would say like visiting LA or New York City is probably a good place. Atlanta has a good party vibe lifestyle uh, for, for a single person. Vegas is really popular for the single person, but that's gonna be more sexual in nature. Um, so yeah, I would say probably LA area, which is expensive. New York, which is expensive. Um, or Vegas, which is expensive and full of STDs and drugs. <laughs> or maybe someplace like Atlanta or even somewhere in Florida would be, like Orlando would probably be another place. Orlando, Miami, if you like the beach. I don't know if you like the beach or not. Now we get to just sit and chit chat. I have to just go around 11 rows. I like this. Oh yeah, also check out Tinder, that's true. So I mean, wh whatever city you end up visiting, just um, open up Tinder or a meetup dating app and it'll show you people that are around you for sure. That's a good suggestion, Corvus, thank you. That's an honest answer, but when it comes to the I'm white part, you know why I wish to get out and visit there because finding a lady here is impossible. Is it? I would think you could easily go to like one of the resort areas and find lots of ladies. Of course, they're probably all visitors and international, but hey. Green card. My goodness, you were hungry. Oh my gosh. She ate that entire bowl of food all by herself. My goodness, she was hungry girl. She was a big old hungry girl. You would also say it depends on your age. At your age, all the good women are like you and are at home having given up on dating life. That's a mood. That's a mood. He He's a youngster though. He's a youngster. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, goodness. One more. <coughs> Excuse me. There it is. You're not racist at all, but you don't want to mix culture. 90% of your pe of people that are there are black, old, or ladies that are taken that are your age, or just sleeping around. Thank you for the blessings. Yes. Oh, I, I totally understand that, too. You can just have preferences. Doesn't make you racist at all for having your preferences. If your preference is to be of somebody of the same race as you, that is totally fine. Just like for people that want to date and marry the same sex, that is the preference for them. Not saying it's for everybody, because clearly I I don't want to be um, tickling somebody's JJ, but that is what other people want to do, and that's totally cool. I, 
I like that when it comes to religion, though, um, Nevermore, that I, I've tried and contemplated dating people that are of different religions, but it just got super complicated. Like, I, uh, there were, I had the chance to date a, a Muslim guy in college, and I was too afraid of even giving that a chance because I think long term, which is bad of me, but I think long term and I think if we get married and have children, what religion are we raising them? And it's important for me to not change my religion. And I've, I've also tried to date people that are Jewish. I've tried to date atheists. And I have just decided that I want to date a Christian man because it, it's something that's important to me. It's a preference of mine that I feel strongly about. And that's that's where I'm at. <clears throat> People don't turn gay. They probably were gay from the start. That's true. That's true. They, they were probably either ex experimenting and or just keeping themselves in the closet, not admitting it to themselves, but deep down they have always been either bisexual or, or gay. Perhaps, perhaps. Here's some more Zelda Wind Waker for you guys. stuck in a piece of yarn. You want to date a Christian, but do they have to be a practicing Christian? No. Um, but I, I want somebody who appreciates Christian values and will uh, support me in my Christian lifestyle and my beliefs, whether that is come to my church services or performances um, if we have kids down the, in the future, I want them to be present in the children's lives, um, getting baptized and Sunday school, Santa Claus, all that kind of stuff. Like I, I want to be able to have somebody to... to understand my lifestyle and to appreciate and not judge me for it and not try and change me and not try and manipulate me out of my own religion, which is the experience that I had in my last relationship. Started out as, oh, I'm not religious, I'm spiritual, I don't believe in organized religion. You can do what you want. If you want to go to church, go for it. And then when I would go to church, it would be like, wow, you're wearing that to church? Or... You're going to church again? Uh, or if I had a performance, I'm not going to step foot into a church. I'm going to burn if I step foot, even if it's just for a, a, a performance. I'm not going to go there. I don't want you guys preaching at me. Those, those comments wore me down a lot. People don't come out because they can't find a partner of the opposite sex. They come out because they feel it's who they are and they finally feel comfortable with being who they are, for sure. You feel like that person poisoned some of those lines? Yes. Yes. 
Am I saying I am a Christian or trying to? I am a Christian. I, I have been active in my church for many, many years. I am fully baptized. Uh, I've been taking a break from helping out with the special needs ministry because this semester has been really challenging and difficult. Crypto! You're not having a baby, but you'd be interested in having one. Hey! We're having our second baby! Crypto, 18 months. Thank you so much. Welcome in. I've missed you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you've had a wonderful Monday and have a really good week ahead. I'm active in the music ministry at my church though, Nevermore. So I do a lot of performing and, and worship services. Um, and I'm actually was asked by my music minister, the new one, our music director, if, um, if I would play in a trio in two weeks. So I will be performing in church in a couple of weeks. You're eating broccoli cheese soup in a bread bowl from Panera. Mmm. That sounds delicious and so full of gluten and I'm jealous. Hello, Fire Fist. Welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. I am making a teddy bear. I am making a teddy bear. Gazoon tight. <laughs> That's what I would be doing all night long if I had a broccoli cheddar soup in a bread bowl from Panera. Y'all would not want to be in the same city as me if I had that. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I'd be super stinky. I would be the stinky stinky. You thought I was making the thing for Link to hold my ruby? That was, that's a cute idea, though. That is a very cute idea. It does kind of look like that. <laughs> it would go with this music, though. What game is this? This is Tales of Symphonia. For those of you that are new into chat, we are currently listening to the relaxing GameCube music that has over 100 songs from old school GameCube games. And we went through my, my collection of GameCube discs and I showed everybody what games that I have in my, for my GameCube. And Conan came up with the suggestion of doing retro Saturdays and if I can see if my GameCube turns on and will hook up to my, my capture card to see if I can stream some of my old school GameCube games. Oh my gosh, someone please come deal with her. I just can't. I can't. GameCube best cube. I agree. I agree. When you want relaxing Nintendo music, you play the Wii theme for 12 hours. <laughs> That's 12 hour version. <laughs> you don't do the, the Wii sports. Wii fitness. That was my jam. I loved Wii fitness. I also had a lot of body dysmorphia because of the stupid board. The stupid um, balance board kept telling me that at 112 pounds I was considered overweight and obese. So, God forbid when I hit 120 pounds and it was like, you're trying your best but you're going the wrong direction. What are you doing wrong? Are you eating too much? Oh my gosh. Woo! Because I said for someone my height, I should be at 110 pounds is ideal for my my height and weight for, for a, a healthy BMI. I'm sorry, that balance board didn't take into consideration that I've got two bazongas here 
that if you took the weight of my boobies off, I would be at that 110 pounds just fine. <laughs> At 110, you would just blow away in the wind. Exactly! Exactly. I mean, I've always, I've always had bigger hips and larger bust size, and I can't do anything about that. There's nothing I can do to get rid of the weight that is my chest and my hips. Can't do it. Purple Kitty, thank you for the resubscribe as well. Eight months. Purple Kitty, we've almost had a baby. We're almost there. Also, do you do you notice what's next to your name? Did you notice what's next to your name, Purple Kitty? Almost there. Chicky, welcome back. Chicky. Chicky. Look at. Look what we got for Saturday. Look what we got for Saturday. Stickies! And also, holy crap, the amount of yarn that is in that box. Ha ha! I need to buy an entire new room. There's a lot of yarn. Nightmare, thank you for the epic rogue on the battlefield. <laughs> well, you are a very important person, so of course you're going to be VIP. Of course. You're welcome. Hi, what? My head is killing me. Ouch. My head is killing me. Somebody bring me some aspirin, please. I wish I could teach the dogs how to go into my bathroom, open my medicine cabinet, grab me my Advil, bring it to me, and fix my headache. Did I start? It? Yes, I did. I started that at the beginning of stream. Um, well, beginning of stream, I worked on one of the arms, and then the body. I body into the head. Yes. <coughs> Potion. Why are you yelling? My head hurts, sweet girl. I don't want you yelling. Not about <coughs> promoting drugs to the youth. Yes. Who me? Promoting sex, drugs, and alcohol? No. Never. Never. <coughs> Potion. Can you find something that doesn't squeak? My head really can't handle that today, sweet girl. Alright, we're looking for 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. We're on row 42 of 45. What is this? Naruto 2! Naruto 2. a toy that didn't squeak. Like one of the two bones that you have over there, or one of the carcasses of a toy that you've obliterated, or the blanket you're laying on. I would prefer any of those to the squeaky toy right now. If any of you guys have dogs, I apologize for your dogs probably being incredibly confused as to why they're hearing a squeaking sound. Alright, here's 
user of 40s. Uh, I think. Yep, 43. I was wrong. 43. <laughs> Oops. Missed a stitch. And this, uh, my, my customer who requested this commission, she did ask me to not use safety eyes on this one. She asked if I would just hand stitch in eyeballs, which I told her I will absolutely do that for her. came off my hook. This project takes a lot of yarn though because I just bought this skein brand new yesterday and it's already it's already about a third of the way maybe half of the way. <laughs> Hi sweet pea. Hi, baby girl. He's saying hi to chat. Oh my goodness. Okay, say hi to chat. Hello, chat. Say hello, chat. My name's Potion, and I'm a cutie booty. Thank you, love. Bye. <laughs> she just wanted to come up here and say hello, gave me a kiss, and then left. Forty-four. Whoops. Come on, yarn. Please stay on the hook like you're supposed to. Thank you. Don't forget to jump into the Stream Raiders battle if you haven't already. Exclamation point battle will get you a link to join my game. Speaking of, let's actually see how we're doing. Oh, 10 seconds. Nice. Good timing. Ubalbea with four units. You are the tryhard this time. Do things quickly. Good luck, have fun. Thank you, Purple Kitty, for the self-care check. <clears throat> I'm big thirsty. Cabo, why are you just standing still? Why are you just standing still letting them kill you? Cowboy! Cowboy, why? Cowboy, don't let them kill you! Oh no! Cowboy, no! Two enemies remain. I don't even see the two. Oh, there they are. One left. Easy mode. Nightmare with most kills. Chug blood. With most assists, um, Nightmare followed by Chuck Blood, Fire Fist, Cowboy, Purple Kitty, Chell, Chell Anderson, Meg, Coffee and Bacon, myself, and Conan rounding out the top ten. Cowboy, Purple Kitty getting some extra monies, and Fire Fist getting some extra scrolls. We're heading our way over to the question mark. I'm still trying to level this up. Enemies will be rede will be revealed over time. So I would like a couple a couple rogues over here 
And over here, everybody else can come over in this area. I'm going to try and turn, break the switches. Anybody wants to play some rogues over here to hit the switches? Because all of these things in here, these are traps. They're going to explode on you. We don't want them to explode to go get these chests. We want these switches to be hit to disarm the uh, all the traps. So if you guys want to place some thingamajigs to try and quickly go get the switches, that'd be awesome. If not, you can place whatever else you would like to. I am not. I've said before, I'm not the kind of captain that cares. If you want to place wherever you want to place, go for it. Do whatever you want to do. Cowboy, thank you for the epic rogue on the battlefield, by the way. Alright. That sounds like Prince of Persia almost. Nope. Final Fantasy again. to row, the last row, row 45, and then I can start doing my decreases, which means I'm going to stop talking in just a little bit. But you guys tell me, what is your favorite nursery theme? If you had a baby, what would you want your nursery theme to be? So many people are having babies right now, and I love hearing about different nursery themes. For me, I think it would probably be, if it was a girl, probably something Disney princess or like pink with unicorns, mermaids, that kind of stuff. Um, but also I want to have some nerd culture thrown in there as well, so I would want to have some video game kind of things in there. Uh, comic book kind of stuff too. And if I had a boy, I'd probably say the the theme would probably be under the sea or space themed. I'm not a huge fan of dinosaurs. Um, so I wouldn't want the nursery to be dinosaur themed. Clearly I don't mind them having like dinosaur toys and all that, but I think <laughs> Yes, Corvus. Back at you. Back at you. Yes. Yes. I am, but so are you. So, <laughs> you guys with your sound alerts. if you would like a sound command please let me know and I would more than happy uh, I am more than happy to get you one I just want to know what you would like he doesn't have one yet
<laughs> Imagine. Oops. Resident Evil 4, actually. Yep, Resident Evil 4. didn't even realize Resident Evil was on the GameCube. I learned something today, folks. Had no idea Resident Evil was on the GameCube. <laughs> Marry me so I can get some of the military benefits too. <laughs> It's been released a ton. Okay. Hi, baby. It's one of the best GameCube games, really. This one is Batten Kaitos. I've heard of that. I've heard of that game. Get out of there, please. <laughs> Thank you. Come What? Don't give you sass. The hell is this? Doshin the Giant. What the hell is this game? This game looks creepy as shit. What in the actual heck? Look at this. What the hell is this? This looks creepy as crap. 
He looks like one of those wacky inflatable flailing arm tube man. The shit is this. Great game, it looks creepy. What is it? What is it? Well, you look creepy, so. I know, but I'm not a game. Why, thank you. I do try my best. <laughs> you could be a game. There ain't no money in this game for two. Will you be my player two? start stuff in the head. So I only have two more rows. realize how much stuffing actually has to go into stuffed animals for them to one maintain their shape but also to be cuddly because if you don't add enough stuffing it's just limp and floppy and ain't nobody want stuff that's limp and floppy am I right am I right Speaking of limp and floppy, though, I didn't put enough into the neck. So I've got to pull this back out and put some down into the neck. Do you have any more big trips coming up, Kev? really anybody in chat. Do you guys have any any big trips coming up? Going anywhere fun? Animal 
Animal Crossing! Memory card included. I can't imagine what my what my village looks like having not played it in 20 years. I can't imagine. <laughs> Stuff it real good. I've got to. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's got to be super stuffed or it's, it's going to be too too limp and floppy. And we don't want things that are limp and floppy. It's got to be stuffed real good. How's it going, Grave Spike? Welcome into chat. Hope you are enjoying your time here. You're going to hell in a handbasket. Want to Why are you going to hell in a handbasket? What'd you do, cowboy? What happened? Nightmare, thank you for the epic archer on the battlefield. I appreciate it. Here's Mario Party 5. I only owned Mario Party 4. Gotta add a little bit more. Stepping right here at the top. You don't want to have a divot in your head. divot in your head. Fire Emblem. Ooh. Good games. Love the Fire Emblem series. Good games. Mm. Has anybody else in chat played any of the Fire Emblem games? And if so, who's your favorite Fire Emblem character? I would love for them to release a new Fire Emblem game. I'd play it. Here we go. Yay! The bear has a head and a body. And it has... Two arms. And two legs. I just need to sew them together. Okay. 
And it has two ears as well, just in case you guys are curious. Okay, there's, there's ear one. All right, let's see. I'm putting you guys on the just chatting scene because I'm moving some stuff around on my desk and you don't need to see that. It's just weird. Kind of boring for you guys to just watch random stuff like that. All right, so we've done, the, done all of that. So I need to make the nose and mouth, which I need an off-white for, which I have the off-white I want to use right here, but I'm currently using this yarn for a different project, so it's going to be kind of funky, but I can make it work. Yeah, I'll make it work somehow. Okay. I'll make it work. Alright. Back to the crafting. Making the nose and the mouth for the teddy bear. Nice yarn if you were a nerd. Oh, thanks. If you were more of a nerd, I would show you the nerd box that Chicky sent me. That's behind me on the floor. Are you nerdy enough to see it, Zam? Also, Zam, do you have a sound command that you would like me to add for whenever you come into chat? Is there a sound you would like? I've been going around giving, giving people sound effects since you taught me how to do it. It makes me so happy. <laughs> Did you finish studying, Zam? Did you finish your modules? is wrestling with a blanket. Done. What's up, 
baby girl. I'm proud of you, Zam. So is Potion. Potion's also proud of you. But she's here to say, good job, Zam. She says, good job, Zam Zam. You deserve the Zam Zam song. You deserve the Zam Zam song. Mwah. Thank you for the kisses, sweet girl. Hi. That, why are you licking my boob? Why did you step on Grayson's face? That's so mean. First she licks my boob, and then she jumps on Grayson's face. That's, she's a bully. Slip stitch in the next three stitches, okay? One, two, three. Fasten off, leave the long tails on the face, get a long piece of brown, sew the nose on the brown. Okay, that's fine. Fasten off, bam. Leave a long tail. Probably way too long of a tail, but I would rather it be too long of a tail that I have to cut and throw away excess yarn then it to be not long enough all right there is the mouth that's gonna go on the bear like that like so I just gotta sew a dark brown nose on it I will do all of that off stream however because streamwriters is almost ready we got one minute left if anybody wants to add a unit if it's available Finish up all of my water. We hydrated, we crafted, we did the yarns, we did the things and the stuffs. We stuffed the things. Grayson, what? What is it, my boy? You wanna say hello too? Oh my goodness, okay, fine. So you can say hello too. Say hello chat. Hello chat. Thank you for the kisses. Say hello chat, as a good boy. I was a chat chat. I was a good boy. I was a sweet buddy. Sure, Taz? Sure, Taz? Is that how I pronounce your name? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Becca Boo Crew. I owe you a sour gummy worm. And because they're stuck together, I'm giving you three, apparently. So thank you for, for joining the Becca Boo Crew. Mm -mm 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 -mm. make you guys down here do things super quickly and fastly. 30 allies to 56 enemies. Just don't step inside of the traps. Like that. I said don't step in the traps. Y'all, I said don't step in the traps. Why are you stepping in the traps? I told you not to. What is this? Why is there a tornado behind us? That, why are there tornadoes? Kill the tornado. Why are there tornadoes? This is not Kansas. Okay, that 
That was weird. I'm suspicious. What is happening? Where is everybody? Somewhere down here. 24 allies or 28 enemies? 29 enemies? How are they going up? How are they getting more enemies? The tornadoes! Kill the tornadoes! Down to 22. Cowboy in the lead with most kills. Cowboy going around killing all of the, the traps. He's doing really good rogue things by killing the traps. He's hitting natural 20s on his trap check. Nine enemies left. Seven. Five. I don't even know where the other bad guys are. There's one. Four. What? It says there's four enemies, but we win. Excuse me, game. Excuse me, stream raiders. Your math is not working. It says there are still four enemies out there. But okay. Cowboy with most kills. Nightmare with most assists. Cowboy followed by Nightmare. Foochland. Myself, Coffee and Bacon, Cosplay Meg, Purple Kitty, Emperor, Oval, Selden Mike, and Conan rounding out the top ten. Poochlin, thank you for your six units as well. Purple Kitty and Cowboy, enjoy your extra scrolls. And, ooh, I got an extra thingy of book stuffs. Ooh. Ooh. Um, let's upgrade Stronghold. Sure. Upgrade Stronghold. Why not? Alright, that's gonna be where we call it quits tonight. Don't forget to go into your store and purchase any scrolls if you have the need to do so. I don't have the need to do so right now. And that is gonna be where we call it quits. I'm gonna show you guys Grayson one more time. Here he is. Thank you guys for coming in and hanging out with me today. I really appreciate you. We talked about GameCube. We talked about video games. We talked about boys. We talked about relationships. We talked about dating. Who's the good puppy? This is Grayson. This is my buddy Grayson. My other good puppy is down here is Potion. My black one here. Got Grayson and Potion. They're my babies. Yeah, aren't you the goodest boy? He has not pooped yet, so I think that is why he is being a pain in my booty hole. Because he needs to go poopies. So we're going to end stream there today. I know it's a little bit shorter of a stream. Uh, it's around the same. It's still three hours. Is Gershon still biting dice in half? Is, <laughs> is Grayson, you mean, still biting dice in half? He has only bit one dice in half. I haven't been rolling any dice in a very long time. Hi. I know, right? We haven't been playing any dice. We haven't rolled any dice. I know. I know we haven't. It's been a very long time. Dice, D&D, &D? yes. Yes, Chicky, D&D. Chicky, you haven't seen my, my dice collection. Ugh. Ugh. Ow! Who put that table there? Your poor glow in the dark D8. <laughs> he still feels bad about that. Alright, so here are all of my brand new dice sets that came in right around the time COVID hit. Um, show you your clackety clacks. Here are some, some gold clackety clacks. Here, I'll swap over to this. Okay. Alright, so we've got some gold sparkles. I got some some red and blue sparkles. These are my brand new Kraken dice. Shiny Math Rocks! Here's my big old die. A big old die. Uh, here's some purple with some sparkles. I got some stickers too. I have lots of um, D20 stickers. Lots of stickers. And I got some Kraken dice pens as well. And then my last one is like a, it's like an aqua and purple, aqua and purple combination. I think it's like a 
Um, these are all my brand spanking new ones. The ones that have never been out of their their container because COVID hit and we stopped playing D and D. Um, my my ex moved to a different city. Then we broke up, causing him to be my ex. Um, and then here's my other chunk of chunks of dice. My other chunky chunk. And I may I crochet this dice bag. I do crochet dice bags if anybody uh, ever wants a dice bag. I can crochet you one for sure. These are for my, my goblin rogue. You guys all know Barag. Um, I've been playing... Last week I played Baldur's Gate and I created my character based on Barag. Uh, so here's my goblin rogue dice. Broke up with a man just because he moved. No. Uh, broke up with him because he was an abusive asshole. That's why. Uh, here is my... My little mini, my goblin rogue mini, plus my little itty bitty baby die, my little baby dice, and the bigger dice. Potion, why are you licking my toes? I appreciate your love, but I don't know why you're licking my toes. And here is my, these are my favorite, these are my favorite clickety clacks. Look at how big they are. Look at them. Look at how big they are. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So big. The math clickety clacks. Clacky, clacky rocks. And this is also one of my favorite. It is a metallic D20. So it's completely metal, rainbow. It is obnoxiously loud to roll. And it's heavy. It is very, very heavy. Being abusive is bad. Sometimes. Sometimes it is, yes. Zero out of ten, don't recommend being in an abusive relationship. I have lots of itty bitty tiny die though. They're, I love, I'm just obnoxious this way. I got the really itsy bitsy little baby dies. <laughs> the big giant die and the itty bitty die. Itty bitty little baby ones. <laughs> so I've got a ton of die. And these are all for my paladin who rolls a bunch of d8s. So these are from my paladin, Bexor. No wait, Bakash. Bakash is my paladin. Bexor is my sorcerer. Bakash is my paladin. So yeah, these are all my clickety clacks. Clickety clacks can't go back. And yes, during one of uh, during one of our D and D sessions here at the house, a a die went unfortunately to to the graveyard that was Grayson's mouth, and he he grabbed it to help roll. He wanted to help. He was being an assistant, and um, it it cracked in two as he as he grabbed the die. It cracked in two, and it's this running joke that he he breaks die. If you put if you put any die on the floor, he'll break it. <laughs> ah, any hoozle. I am gonna call it quits here. Like I mentioned, here's our raid call. Please give that a humongous copy pasta, and let's go see who is, whomst is still on. I figured, yeah, I figured Soya was going to be off. We've got, oh no, Soya is still on, um, but I'm, I'm not going to raid into Soya because they're probably going to finish any minute now anyway, but they're also playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild that I want to play someday, so I don't want any spoilers. You have a good night too. Thanks for coming in. I think we're going to raid Lambo. Let's go raid Lambo. Okay. Yeah. Let's go raid Lambo. I know we raid Lambo quite often, but he's a, a good buddy. He's a good bean. He's a good lamb. I know. I know. Why I gotta raid that nerd? Because nerds have to stick with other nerds. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We gotta raid the, the nerds. Nerds that have cute dogs. Just saying. <laughs> um, I will see you guys again on Wednesday for more Baldur's Gate. I'm gonna give it one more chance. I wasn't quite feeling it on Friday, 
but I'm hoping maybe it does that was just because it was the tutorial introduction that as we get farther into the storyline I'll I'll feel it a little bit more um, so we're gonna, we're gonna be back on Wednesday for that and then Friday I am not streaming because I'm getting prepared for my stream anniversary on Saturday. 12 hour stream on Saturday. Let's get that announcement pulled up so I can show you guys for anybody that does not already know. Stream anniversary. So it's going to be on May 28th, which is on Saturday, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, 12 hours. Um, there are all different kinds of incentives, ranging from a googly eye all the way up to a crocheted item. Limit five of those. Uh, the, the ones that are really exciting are the emote stickers made by our lovely Chicky. Uh, I don't know why this is being cut off over here. Hello. There we go. Uh, emote stickers she made for us. Do, 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 do. She made a bunch of stickers for us. And Wheel of Condiments, I've heard, is something people are excited about. Oh no. 